I was appalled by the stories of Kosovo women that were raped by Serbian forces during the war in 1998-99, said former Kosovo president Atifete Yahyaga in an exclusive interview for the weekly TV documentary Zona Express. She recalled meetings with some of the survivors of sexual violence during the war from a few years ago. Uh, uh, I have seen scars in their bodies that were still visible 15 years after the war. It was a very tough emotional moment for me to experience, said Yahyaga during the interview. Zona Express will bring exclusive stories of some of these women Sunday evening at 8.45. Kosovo is set to establish its army next week by amending current law on the Kosovo Security Force, according to a leaked document to Gazeta Express drafted by the President of Kosovo Office. According to the proposed amendments, the KSF would not change its name and would be tasked to defend citizens, property and interests of the state of Kosovo and will be armed in compliance with the KSF needs. Some of the most serious human rights problems in Kosovo over the last year was throwing of tear gas in the parliament, as well as the violation of media freedoms, a U.S. State Department report on human rights practices has found. The report also suggests that the government and private sector corruption, coupled with a lack of punishment for corrupt acts, are among the big problems for Kosovo. Kosovo President Hashim Tachi has appeared to hail a U.S. report on human rights in Kosovo and even take credit for it, although the report suggested there had been made little progress. He took to Facebook to write that he had been committed to further consolidate the rule of law in the country in order not to give people any chance at all of avoiding the law. Kosovo opposition is not bothered by the EU foreign affairs chief's message during a visit to Pristina on Saturday when she said, should the Kosovo parliament vote in favor of border demarcation deal with Montenegro, the EU will move swiftly in the visa liberalization process. Head of the main opposition party, Vedvendosia Visar Umeri, said that his party, along with other opposition parties, remain committed to objecting the demarcation deal. And finally, two students have been shot by a stray bullet while in classroom on Monday in Podujeva, northeastern Kosovo, according to a police report. The male students, aged 17 and 18, were attending a class when the stray bullet fired from outside, penetrated through the classroom window and hit them in the face and shoulder. They had been rushed to a nearby hospital and are out of danger, police say. For more information on Kosovo, go to gazetaexpress.com slash en.